What's going on all you beautiful fuckers and welcome back. Guys, do we kill Brainiac in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League? That's the topic for today's video right now and I think I have the answer. But do you guys have the answer? Do you guys think that Brainiac will die in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League? Or do you think he is going to live and he is going to stay alive for the rest of the post-launch content for this game? Before we answer the question on whether or not if Brainiac survives or not, we gotta look at the facts first. And the facts are Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is a live service game. This game is going to release new content for us, and Rocksteady wants us to be playing this game for as long as possible, for as many months as possible, maybe even over a year. If Rocksteady wants us to be playing their game for that long, then they're going to need to add in enemies that we're going to be killing for that long, and the perfect answer for the enemies we're going to be killing for that long is obviously Brainiac and his alien army. Who knows, guys? I might end up eating my own words in the next couple of months when the first season of Suicide Squad comes out in post-launch content, where we see it possibly isn't Brainiac. Brainiac and his alien army. I mean, if it isn't Brainiac who's going to be the main villain for the post-launch content, who do you guys think the main villain is going to be? Who are going to be the enemies that we are going to be killing in the streets of Metropolis for the post-launch content for this game? You guys could be thinking of a lot of different answers, but I'm going to be sticking with my guts and I'm going to be saying that Brainiac and his alien army are the main villains for the post-launch content of this game. And with that answer I just said, then that just proves that I think that Brainiac is not going to die by the end of Suicide Squad, kill the Justice League's main story. I believe that the main story for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is going to end with Brainiac surviving and he is going to continue his raid on Earth and he is going to try to make Earth his new Kolu and we are going to try to stop him and his alien army all in the post-launch content for this game for several months, maybe even several years to come. Now by the end of the game, I still do believe that the Suicide Squad would have have a mostly won but I still do believe that Brainiac is going to be a threat for Metropolis and for the Suicide Squad and he is going to continue being the main villain for this game for several months, maybe even several years to come. Now, I'm going to believe that Brainiac gets defeated by the end of the game and the Suicide Squad mostly beat him, but just because I said defeated, that does not mean I believe that he is going to die. I believe he gets defeated. I believe that he gets his plans thrown back for several months or however long it takes him to make up his plan. I believe that he is still going to somehow end up surviving, but he is going to be in hiding a little bit more or something, and he is still going to have his alien army in the rest of Metropolis trying to complete his mission to create Earth as the new Kolu. We all know that Suicide Squad is an Arkhamverse game, guys, and by the looks of it, there's going to be possibly more Arkham games that release after Suicide Squad, meaning that Suicide Squad will not be the last Arkhamverse game. The next Arkhamverse game after Suicide Squad, yeah, James Gunn, or Rock, I don't give a fuck, whoever is in charge, I am begging you on my knees, I will do whatever it takes. I want you, I am begging you to just create a fucking Superman game already. It has been so long since we've had the last Superman game, and those Superman games weren't even that big. They were just very small games and they were movie tie-ins. If we get a game that is big like the Arkhamverse games, the uh, Spider-Man Insomniac games, if we get a, a Arkhamverse Superman game that is big within the industry, it is a very popular game, it is a big AAA title, all of that. Guys, I would be so happy to see that. It, it could be an Arkhamverse game, it could not be, I, I don't care. I just wanted a Superman game uh, fucking yesterday. I, guys, this is how important it is for us to get a Superman game. If it's a part of the Arkhamverse, I'm sure that would make it even more popular because a lot of people consider the Arkhamverse the DC canon for gaming. The next Superman game we could get could be a part of this Arkhamverse and Brainiac could come back from Suicide Squad and he could appear in Superman's video games, the trilogy, however many games Arkhamverse decides to make for Superman if they decide to make a video game trilogy for him at all. As of now, I guess that is my answer. I believe that the Suicide Squad mostly win by the end of the game and Brainiac still gets defeated but he still survives as well and he is going to continue being the main villain for the rest of the post launch content for this game or maybe even a majority of it I don't know and maybe if they make an Arkhamverse Superman game maybe Brainiac could come back from Suicide Squad and he could appear in the Superman games as the main villain as a side character I don't know maybe it just shows tidbits of Brainiac dying if he dies at all Ma guys do you think Brainiac's going to die in the post launch content for this game he honestly could he might not die for the main story at the end of the game I believe he gets defeated but the rest of the post launch content maybe Brainiac gets defeated and dies in the rest of the post launch content at the very last season of whatever uh, Rocksteady is trying to plan with this game, Brainiac probably dies in the final season for the post-launch content for this game. I've been going on about this for a few minutes now, and you guys have probably been speculating and giving your own theories for what you think might happen to Brainiac at the end of the game, or maybe even for post-launch content. Maybe he dies, maybe he doesn't die, maybe he dies after, maybe he does come for an Arkhamverse Superman game, assuming he survives in this game. It's like I said though, I do believe that the Suicide Squad mostly win and mostly save the city and Earth by the end of the game, and they stop
stop Brainiac, but they don't kill him. I do believe that Brainiac is probably going to come back for post-launch content in this game with all of the rest of his aliens in his alien army. There's honestly a lot of good theories for what we think could happen to Brainiac, but I'm sure you guys would even talk about more theories in the comments down below if you have any theories at all. Make sure you comment down below what you think, like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Suicide Squad content. I'll see you next time, you beautiful bitches.